Of course, the whole thing falls apart if one of the actors isn't very good at pretending. to thy deathbed. Stop. For God's sake, stop. What? Where is this coming from? What? This staggering about with your mouth open. <laughs> You're being sarcastic again with me. Please don't be sarcastic. No, actually, I'm not, but sorry. <clears throat> Ophelia's mad. Right. I'm playing madness. Right. And how does staggering about with your mouth open suggest madness? I'm not mad. Right. And I never have been, so I have to simulate it. Right. I'm using sense memory. I'm remembering what it was like being stoned, and I'm using that. I'm disoriented. My head is spinning. I think that's what it's probably like when you're insane. Right. Well, it's not. Trust me. That's what it's like when you're stoned. Oh, forgive me. I mean no disrespect, but I don't have your experience with insanity. Right. And this is hard, anyway, because I can't take any meaning from the text. Ophelia's just singing nonsense songs. Right. Claire. <laughs> Claire, Claire, Claire with the hair. Ophelia is a child. She has been dominated by powerful men all of her life, and suddenly they all disappear. Her brother goes to France. Her father is murdered by her boyfriend, and he is shipped off to England. She is alone for the first time, grieving and heartbroken and guilty, because, as far as she's concerned, it's all her fault. She ignored her brother's advice and fell in love with Hamlet, and now her father is dead, all because of her and the pain and the loss and the shame and the guilt. All of this is gnawing away inside this little child's mind, and it comes out as little songs. And will he not come again? And will he not come again? No, no, he is dead. My father is dead and I killed him. Okay, now let's try it again without the Vietnam flashback. Excuse me, Jeff.